Hey, it's Andrew here from andrewhubbard.co and in this video, you're going to learn how to install the Facebook Pixel on your WordPress website in just a few minutes. Now this is quick, easy, and even if you have no tech skills whatsoever, it is something you can do. So let's just dive straight in and get this set up. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do is install a Chrome extension called the Facebook Pixel Helper. So we're going to go up here to the extensions bar in Chrome, right click anywhere and click manage extensions. From there, we're going to choose the menu on the left and down the bottom, Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the Web Store, all you need to do is search for Facebook Pixel Helper. And the first result should be this one here that says Facebook Pixel Helper offered by Facebook. This is actually created by Facebook. That's the one you want to use. So click add to Chrome, add extension, and you'll see it pops up here in the extensions menu as this little gray icon. Okay, so we'll close that. Now what we want to do once we've got the plugin installed or the extension installed is I'm going to show you how it works and we're going to check my website to see if the pixel is working. That's what this extension does. It allows you to visit any website and see if the pixel is working. So I'm going to go to my website now. Here it is. And the extension is right here. I'm going to just pin this one. Okay, so you can see the extension is here. I'm just going to drag it to the end here. You can see here's the extension and it's grayed out. And if I click on it, it says no pixels found on andrewhubbard.co. All right, so that means the pixel is not installed on my website at this point in time. We're going to install it right now, come back and use the extension to check and make sure that it's working properly. So, so what we wanna do is log into your WordPress admin section. So log into the WordPress admin section and it will look something like this. Simply go down and click on plugins, add new. And then from here, you want to click search plugins and search for my favorite extension. There are lots of extensions that can do this, but the one that I recommend is called Pixel Caffeine. You can see it here, it's Pixel Caffeine, this yellow icon, uh, it is by Ad Espresso. So click install now. Once it's installed, click activate. Now I recommend as well, before you do any of this, do a backup of your WordPress website because sometimes I've never had a problem with this plugin, but sometimes installing plugins can cause problems with the website. It's very rare, but it does happen. So I always recommend before you install, or activate any plugins, go ahead and take a backup of your WordPress website. That's just a little tip on the side for you. Okay, so once the plugin is installed, if you scroll down the list, you will see uh, down here, we've got Pixel Caffeine, and I'm just going to click Dashboard. You'll also notice that it appears in the WordPress menu on the left. So there are multiple ways to access the Pixel Caffeine plugin. Now, once you're here, you can see it's already set to on, uh, but what I'm going to do, that's because I've previously had it installed on my website. So what I'm going to do is just go change settings and I'm going to disconnect this because this is what it's going to look like for you when you first come in. It'll look like this. You just wanna click on the setup. You wanna uh, enable it, click Facebook connect. This actually connects to your Facebook account. So now we choose the ad account here and we choose the pixel and click apply. Now you can see it's enabled. If it's not enabled, click that button, make sure the pixel is enabled. And that is it. We have just installed the Facebook pixel on the website. It's that easy. Install the plugin, activate it, connect to Facebook, and you are good to go. To check this, let's go back to my website now. Let's refresh. And now we can see using the pixel helper, it's turned blue. It's no longer gray, it's turned blue and we click it and it says one pixel found on andrewhubbard.co and then it is all working correctly. Okay, we've got no red crosses, we've got no error messages, that means the pixel is working. Now if we go back to Pixel Caffeine, I'm going to show you a couple more cool little things that you can do, particularly an easy way to set up event tracking, so tracking conversions on your website. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to scroll down here if you haven't already got it turned on, turn on custom audiences, uh, turn on advanced data tracking, and if you go across, you can now click conversions and events. And we can set up our conversions. Now, if you look at my website, on the front page, I have a download. So if I click that and opt in, I wanna track when people convert. When people opt into my list, I wanna track through Facebook when they do that. So I choose this and I'm going to just enter my details because what I want to find is the thank you page. 
You want to find the thank you page that people hit after converting or opting into your email list. And that's where we're going to track our conversions. So this is my thank you page. You can see it's andrewhubbard.co forward slash thank dash you. I'm going to copy that. And again, pixel all working fine here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to pixel caffeine and down here I can add new tracking. And so I can say downloaded seven steps PDF trigger on a page visit, meaning when somebody hits a particular page, I'm going to trigger this when the URL contains andrewhubbard.co forward slash thank dash you and the event I'm going to call it a lead event. Okay, so this is a lead. When somebody downloads that and hits that thank you page, I know they've just joined my email list. I know they've become a lead. So I just select lead, no delay, click create tracking. And now, if I go and refresh my thank you page, look at the pixel helper, I can see now that I've got this lead event as well. So that's how I check. Is the event that I selected now being shown inside the Facebook Pixel Helper? Yes, it is. I've got complete registration on here as well because I have it set up elsewhere uh, for some extra tracking, but I have the lead event now on the page and that was that quick and easy to set up through Pixel Caffeine. So that's it. That's all you need to do to set up the Facebook Pixel on your website and to set up conversion tracking. As you saw, we didn't have to do any coding. We didn't have to go and get any um, special code from Facebook or install it. It's all done through that direct connection with Facebook. So go ahead, install the Pixel. It's literally the best thing you can do to help your advertising right now. Whether you are running ads now or whether you're running ads in the future, it's definitely something you wanna do. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. That is all I ask you to do. It helps the channel. It tells me that you're enjoying this content and it helps me decide on what kind of content to create next. And if you wanna hear from me again and get notified whenever I release a new video, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified whenever I release a video on Facebook advertising or digital marketing. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.